How will you pay for college? For many students, the answer comes in the form of two words, student loans. It's almost surreal. You're just stepping out of high school, yet you're already being asked to shoulder a financial burden that could follow you for years. Understanding how student loans work can be the difference between financial success and a mountain of debt. Let's break it down so you can make informed decisions about your future. When you're thinking about taking out a student loan, it's easy to focus on the loan amount itself. But here's the catch. The total cost of your education isn't just the amount you borrow. It's the loan plus the interest that accrues over time. This means the price tag of your education could be significantly higher than you initially thought. Before signing on the dotted line, you really have to think long and hard about whether the degree you're pursuing will lead to a career that makes this debt worth it. Not all degrees offer the same return on investment, and taking on a large amount of debt for a field with lower earning potential could put you in a tough spot later on. So if you're looking at a student loan, make sure you consider not just the upfront cost, but the long-term financial impact as well. The degree you're working towards should be one that will open doors and make your investment in education pay off. Is there anything you can do to cut the cost of higher education? Oh yes. If you're in the United States, you can save a significant amount of money on your education by starting at a community college. Community colleges offer many of the same core classes that you'd take at a four-year university, but at a fraction of the cost. Afraid of missing out on some magic in your freshman classes? The truth is, introductory classes like Biology 101 at most four-year colleges are held in giant lecture halls, and there's very little opportunity for personal interaction with your professors. It's only in upper-level classes, where you start to take special classes for your major, that the expensive schools pay off. By spending your first two years at a community college, you can complete your general education requirements and then transfer to a more expensive university to finish your degree. Think about it, you're practically cutting your tuition costs in half for those first two years, and that means taking on less student loan debt. In fact, some states are actually offering free community college tuition to their residents. You can't beat free. Plus, many community colleges have transfer agreements with universities, making it easier to continue your education without missing a beat. This approach doesn't just save you money. It can also give you more flexibility and time to decide on your major, all while keeping your financial future in check. It's a win-win. Here's another smart strategy to save money on college that you can start before you even begin the application process. Take advanced placement classes in high school. AP classes are college-level courses that give you the opportunity to earn college credits before you even step foot on a university campus. How does it work? Simple. You work hard, take the AP exam at the end of the course, and if you score well, many colleges will award you credits. These credits can help you skip introductory courses or even graduate early, which means fewer semesters to pay for and less debt to take on. Your high school may have a dedicated AP class for each subject, so you'll get help preparing for the exam. But even if that's not the case, there's nothing stopping you from getting a practice book of tests and following the suggested course curriculum to prepare on your own. Have a little look-see on YouTube to see if there are videos to help as well. <clears throat> Socratica. <clears throat> By investing extra effort in high school, you could save thousands of dollars in tuition. Plus, earning college credits ahead of time can give you a head start on your degree, allowing you to dive deeper into your major sooner, or free up your schedule for internships, work, or other valuable experiences. So if you're looking for a way to reduce your future student loan burden, start by taking advantage of AP classes. It's a powerful way to get ahead, both academically and financially. Did you know that student loans aren't just an American thing? They're a global reality. In addition to the United States, in countries like Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, 
and even in Germany for private institutions, student loans are a significant part of financing education. Each country has its own system, but the goal is the same, helping students afford the education they need to succeed. In the U.S., for example, student loans are a mix of government-backed loans and private options. In the U.K., loans are tied to income, and repayments only begin once you're earning above a certain threshold. Australia's HEX HELP system is similar, but with some unique twists. And in Canada, both federal and provincial loans are available, often with interest-free periods while you're still in school. Germany is a bit different. Public universities are mostly free, but private institutions do offer loans to help cover tuition. These different systems might sound complicated, but they all revolve around the same basic concept, borrowing now to invest in your future. Now, let's talk about something that can sneak up on you if you're not careful. Interest. When you take out a student loan, you're not just paying back what you borrowed. You're also paying for the privilege of borrowing that money, and that's where interest comes in. Imagine you take out a $30,000 loan at 6% interest over 10 years. At first glance, $30,000 might seem manageable, but with interest, you're actually paying back more much more. In this case, your total repayment could end up around $40,000 or even higher depending on how the interest is calculated. Think of it like buying a car. The sticker price isn't the whole story. The longer you take to pay it off, the more interest adds up, making that car, or in this case your education, a lot more expensive in the long run. We have a quick exercise on our website, Socratica.com, that helps you see just how much more you wind up paying for purchases when you take out a loan and the interest charges start to add up. Find the link below. Here's a silver lining for all those interest payments. In some countries, they're tax deductible. But what does that mean? A tax deduction reduces the amount of income that's subject to tax. So if something is tax deductible, it can lower the total amount of income the government taxes you on, which will in turn reduce your tax bill. Take the United States, for example. You can deduct up to $2,500 of student loan interest each year, depending on your income. Canada offers something similar, where you can claim the interest on your student loans as a tax credit. On the flip side, the UK doesn't have this perk, so double check what's available in your country. Now keep in mind that not everyone qualifies for these deductions, and they probably won't cover all your interest payments, but every little bit helps when you're chipping away at your student loan debt. Let's face it, no one wants to be in debt forever. That's why when you take out a student loan, it's for a certain duration, and this is known as the loan term. A typical student loan term is 10 years, but others are available. Here's a little smart money secret for you. You can shorten your loan term by sending in a bit of extra money each month. That extra cash goes straight towards reducing the principal of the loan. That's the original amount you borrowed. And here's the best part. With a lower principal, you'll be charged less interest over time. It's a double whammy of savings that helps you pay off your loan faster. The interest savings alone could add up to thousands of dollars. Money you could put towards big goals like buying a car, a house, or even saving for retirement. But that's not all. Paying off your loans ahead of schedule can also give your credit score a serious boost, opening up better financial opportunities down the road. Picture this, you're applying for a mortgage or a car loan, and you score a lower interest rate because you've shown you can handle debt responsibly. That's the power of a strong credit score. And let's not forget the psychological payoff. Getting out of debt sooner rather than later can give you peace of mind, lower your stress levels, and let you focus on building the life you want. So if you can swing it, think about making extra payments or upping your monthly payment amount. Your future self will be glad you did. Paying off your loan early is, of course, not something that you can bank on. Bank on, <laughs> that's a little joke. Life happens, and 
sometimes things just don't go as planned. You might have unexpected expenses like car repairs, medical bills, or even losing your job. What then? Missing student loan payments can lead to some serious consequences. In the short term, you could face late fees and a drop in your credit score. That might not seem like a big deal now, but a lower credit score can make it tougher to get approved for credit cards, car loans, or even to rent an apartment. The long-term consequences are even more severe. If you default on your student loans, that means you fail to make your payments as scheduled, you could face wage garnishment, where a portion of your paycheck is automatically taken to pay off your debt. Take heart. If you're struggling to keep up with your loan, there are options to temporarily pause your payments, giving you some breathing room. Just keep in mind, interest might still add up during this time, so it's not a perfect solution, but it can help when you're in a really tight spot. Now you might be wondering, how can colleges and universities offer loans to students with no job, no credit history, and no assets? The answer lies in government support and a little bit of faith in your future. Many student loans are backed by the government, which means they're guaranteed by taxpayer money. This lowers the risk for lenders, making it possible for them to offer loans to students who might not qualify for other types of credit. The government even subsidizes some loans, covering the interest while you're in school, so your debt doesn't grow as quickly. Private lenders, on the other hand, often consider your expected future earnings when deciding whether to approve your loan. They know that a college degree generally leads to a higher income, which makes it more likely that you'll be able to repay what you borrow. This whole system works because of something called risk pooling. Many students take out loans, and while some might struggle to repay, others will pay off their loans quickly, balancing out the risk for lenders. Imagine you're going to a college where the cost is $50,000 per year. To cover that, you might take out a 15-year student loan for $200,000 at 6% interest. On the surface, that might seem manageable, but let's take a closer look at what this means in dollars and cents. With a 6% interest rate, your monthly payment will be $1,687.71. You'll be making that payment every month for the next 15 years. That's 180 payments in total. When you do the math, you're not just paying back the $200,000 you borrowed. All told, you'll end up paying $303,787.80. That's right, the interest alone adds an extra $103,787.80 to your total cost of education. That's pure profit for the bank. This example highlights a frequently overlooked point. When thinking about your loan, never leave out the interest. Instead of saying, I have a $200,000 loan, it's more honest and more accurate to say, ultimately, I'll owe the bank over $300,000. That's the real cost of your education. Before taking on this kind of debt, ask yourself, will the degree you're pursuing give you the earning power to handle this financial burden? Will it truly be worth the investment? These are tough questions we know. A degree can be a powerful tool for your future, but is it worth the price? Make sure you go into this with your eyes wide open. That's smart money. Just one more thing. If you want to hashtag learn more about dollar sign finance, you can find extras on our website, Socratica.com. Quizzes, bonus materials, other helpful things.